Hello everybody and welcome back to another great Monster Hobbies model car build video. Today we're going to be looking at another one of my dad's model kit builds and this time around it is the Thomas Flyer from AMT. Now I happen to have one in here that's kind of dismantled. I picked it up a long time ago as a second-hand model from a model car show but uh, I do have the box and it's always interesting. Now in case you didn't know the Thomas Flyer was built in 1908 for the New York to Paris road race and the cool thing about the box is it shows the model from the side and points out everything on it and on this side it also has all the information about that New York to Paris road race and here you can see the map for the road race and as you can tell it goes quite a long ways it goes from New York all the way back and then up through Japan and drops down in Russia and goes all the way to Paris so that's really amazing considering the style of cars that were running on this and everything else. And what makes the Thomas Flyer significant is it was an American Bay built car and it was the only one that actually finished the race. There was other cars from France and Germany and I do believe Spain as well. But all of them died somewhere along the way. Probably a lot of them died up going into Alaska <laughs> so, and across Russia. So again, in the colder climates. But the Thomas Flyer did make it through. So my dad's actually built this as two different versions. So in our first video, we're going to take a look at the way he built it right out of the box. And in the second video, we're going to take a look at a very special race car version. So I'm just going to leave this opening for both videos. So now let's go to, down to the bench and see the model that we're going to display this week. Here's my dad's take on the 1908 Thomas Flyer as if it was a stripped down race car for an oval track or something like that. Now here you can see the holes where the fenders and the running boards would have glued on to the uh, authentic Thomas Flyer. The number sixes on here are actually from a Star Trek Enterprise model. Dad's relocated the tires to the back deck and also used the fuel tank here. He's kept the Thomas Flyer script on the side, which looks nice. And I do believe his paint technique has actually improved on here, as this was all done by a brush, but looks really solid. Now the model is uh, done in the old style of building, so only the essentials were painted. Stuff like the frame and the gears here are actually the plastic color. So again, that is how this was built. Another really cool concept on this car is just the basic overall design of the stripped down racer. Again, we have our oil here for the chain and our gear shift levers as well as the steering column with the spark advance and everything on there. This model kit does want to roll a little bit, which is okay, but again, really nice work done by my dad. Here we have the Thomas Flyer T style engine. That means there is a valve on either side of the cylinder head and the cylinder goes up and down through the center. So therefore the cylinder head is in a T configuration for the intake and the exhaust valves with the cylinder in the middle. Here we have a wonderful illustration from the 1926 Dykes Automobile Encyclopedia. And here it shows how the T engine worked with the updraft carburetor as well. So what we have here is the fuel tank and then our fuel line going into the float on the carburetor. And then the carburetor, the gas comes across here. There's a gasoline screw for adjustments. And then it gets into the air intake, which splits the gas in air fuel mixture into the cylinder head. Now here we have the exhaust or the intake valve, pardon me, and there's a spark plug right on top. And this is what I'm talking about with the T-style cylinder head. So the valve would drop down, let the gas in, the gas goes into the top of the cylinder head, and then as you can see the spark's way over here. So in the spark part of the uh, movement of the engine, the spark would hit here and shoot the flame right across the top, and then here we have our exhaust valve, and these are all on gears for the gear down here as well, and a cam shaft down the middle. And then once the exhaust comes out, it will go into the muffler and out of the car. Again, really nice work. You can see the exhaust manifold off the side, and I'll just turn this around and we'll take a look at the other side of the engine. Here we have the passenger side of the engine, and again, you can see just how wonderful it was all built up. Here's our 
dashboard and there's the instrument panel with just a few instruments. And here dad painted the seats with tan paint. Here we have the car from the underside. There's our oil pan and our clutch style flywheel. And then we've got a little drive shaft here going into the transmission which is in the back. This again is a chain driven transmission so there you can see it going through the transfer case onto the back wheels. And really nicely done. But again, all this gray is just the molded plastic. It's not actually been painted. Well, I really hope you enjoyed that look at my dad's Thomas Flyer model kits. And if you would like to see the current model kits that we have for sale at www.monster-hobbies.ca, don't be afraid to click on the little link that'll be coming up somewhere down here at the end of the video, and it'll take you magically right to our model car page. Won't that be awesome? Don't have to dig around, you'll be transported directly there. So if you enjoy these videos, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share this channel with all your friends and family. And if you want to help support our work, click that join button that's down below. And for $3 a month, you can help us out with all the great videos, maybe even help us get a proper lighting down here in the basement so that you can see us in full color and without the shadows and glare. So until next time, everybody, keep building those models, share on our Facebook page, and happy model building.